Now, of course, there are subtle aspects to this that we can consider when we're thinking about the spiritual gender. We can consider that a person may just have feelings which we might attribute to the opposite gender to what they are. A kind of subtlety of perception that you might think belongs to a woman or a kind of woman may be found in a man. A strength of insight or of preaching a conviction that you might think belongs to a man or to a certain type of man may be found in a woman. So this stuff can be very liminal, not necessarily about the physic per se. Or the physic may be perceived in its opposite polarity or its inverted status when it is inverted, when it's inverted to what the man is doing and or who he is. That's why the themes become inverted and upside down, because it's inverted based on what it qualified is. But suffice to say that if you're just rightly related to yourself and you, you take up possession of who you are, it don't really matter how you live. Um, and if it's a rare thing to have feelings or behaviours or thoughts that are supposedly attributed to the other gender, then so be it. Be that rare thing. Have such a trait. As and when as much as you express it. Or in as much as it lives within you. It's nothing particularly uh, massive to put on and put off. Unless it starts getting into the more overt physics, and that's mainly because it's been given uh, a certain amount of force through iniquity. You know, if you write a book as a man, and you can think and feel how a woman thinks and feels, convincingly to write about such a character, that's something. But if it becomes about the gender identity of you, it can become more overt. And if there's pain behind that and you're riffing on that pain, then discrepancy can arise. And you can get stuck in an activated status because you're not satisfied, but you're not willing to process that energy. And, um, or live that energy. You see, you're not willing to live that energy. So not so much necessarily about a process like start and finish, but you're not willing to live that energy. Uh, and so there becomes a bit of a discrepancy. You've got to live it somehow. But if you are living in such a way that doesn't allow the free expression of who you have to bring to society, you know, if you do have that split between persona and self, but you don't facilitate it because you're not strong enough in yourself, because you've got that discrepancy, that iniquity, that absence of right account, right synchronization to heaven's law, divine, the divine spirit. If you don't have that, then it can be that you get stuck in who to be, or you get stuck in an activated status, you get stimulated, uh, but you don't you don't ever go back to a kind of can digest things, can rest status, you become restless. You get stuck in the gear of sexuality. That's activated. And I think that's because the sexuality is damaged already. It's a, and so you don't want to go all the way with it because it doesn't feel good anyway. At least at the end point. That's really because you're not accepting it for who you are. You're not really living how you're supposed to live. We don't need much sexuality anyway. But um, if you can just be yourself in whatever aspect you feel is yours... I feel like it all flows into the greater integrity of you, but you've got to sharpen up your philosophy. If you want to be a bit more subtle, you've got to watch getting too subtle in the way that you actually damage the other side of your nature. Because then what will happen is that you will start to get disparities in your life and it will add disparity, will add to disparity. You can become susceptible to the devil. You can become susceptible to devils in people. You have to watch out for that. You have to be strong in who you are. You have to have confidence, confidence with faith. You have to be with, synchronized to the divine uh, pattern. You know, you've got to be above the water. 
and you don't necessarily see the next big wave coming, so what you've got to be is buoyant. And that means rightly related to God, that's righteousness. You're rightly related to what God wants, what God believes in, because he's part of it, he's interceding all the time. Uh, maybe you'd say delicately, but he is interceding uh, for the sake of heaven's law. And, um, and that's for you to get rightly accorded to, definitely. Not to make it about gender, to the point where you get inverted. Because uh, you're trying to understand the other gender within. But you're losing your own aspect, your own self. Because you're going down an unintegral road. Because it's hard to do both aspects without getting stuck in energetics that people will maybe not like. You've got to watch out for that. So you've got to be strong and you've got to be balanced. If you live everything you need to live, it's often that you're round enough anyway. But that's heathen roundness. That's not real roundness. It's just successful, but it's not the true success. It's not... Um, the brightest success is not divine success. So watch out for these physics and yeah.